Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, Mini Metro. Let me turn down this music just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I always put it a little lower than I should. When I go back and watch on YouTube, it's always a little too low. So you know what? That looks a little too high to me, but I'm going to leave it there. And before we get started, I want to thank... I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Four gatherers who came in with the follow literally, literally, as I was hitting the button to go live. To go off of my starting soon screen onto the look at my face and I'm playing video game screen. Just came in with the follow. Thank you so much, Four Gathers, for that. Good morning as well to Lucinos28, who says, Good morning, Mini Goog. Well, I'm, I'm a very maxi Goog. It would be nice to be a Mini Goog, but, you know, good morning, Lucinos, nonetheless. Oh, God, it was a weekend. It was a weekend. It's actually a strong end to the week end, but it was a, a pretty damn weak beginning. Oh, Lord. All right, we are here in Seoul, by the way, performing today's daily challenge. All right, there we go. Let's get that little orange line. It'll just run triangles to this square right now. I'm already out of bridges because, you know, Seoul. But it'll be fine. It's fine. This is all fine. Oh, you're not even a... It would have been nicer if you were a triangle, but fine. Do that awkward thing, I guess. Oof. All right. So, hey, we got a triangle down here. Let's uh, let's reconfigure this orange line then. Make it do that. Take a locomotive and no bridges. I will take a line. I have heard uh, from Samurai Sam that this challenge is going to offer a great number of circles and not many bridges, which, to be fair, sounds like Seoul. It sounds like the kind of thing that happens here in Seoul. All right, uh, blue line, you come up this way. Can you grab that? Yes, you can. Great. That will be wonderful. And hey, look, another circle for the orange line. Orange line, you can just have another locomotive right now. You're gonna need it. Okay. There we go. All right, everybody rolling, everybody rolling, everybody's happy. So, my weekend was long. It was longer than I expected it to be. Um, we've had some fam family friends, you know, just, you know, you're, you're growing up, the kind, of, the kind of close family friends where there aren't any relations, but you still call them your aunt and uncle and your cousins and all that. That kind of close family friends. And I've known them literally my entire life. Like, they were at my parents' wedding, that kind of close. We would take a locomotive and give me another line, even though I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Could just slap another... Yeah, I should probably slap another locomotive on the orange line and just deal with this. Also dealing with this acute angle, but whatever. So... So that kind of, like, that level of close, close family friend. Uh, and they are moving out of state. You know, I'm in Massachusetts. I don't think that is a secret at this point. And they are moving to Tennessee. So it's, um, it's going to be a while before we see them again. So we got together with them. And I live a fair whack of distance away from... Uh, my parents' house, so I had to drive there. This is a very boring story. I'm getting to the good part. And I uh, blew a flat tire. Just, just you know, driving along the side of, the, driving, a, driving up a uh, windy little road, and it's like, huh, what's that grinding sound? Huh, that grinding sound is getting a lot worse. Oh, 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 my car is pulling off to the right and losing, uh, losing momentum, even though I'm not hitting the brake. This, uh, this must not be good. I'm going to take a carriage. I'm going to put the carriage on the orange line and, ooh, a square for the end of the blue line. That's going to be very helpful. But I'm also going to put a locomotive on the blue line because the blue line is dealing with, you know, a lot of nonsense before it gets to a circle, and then again before it gets to another one, so. 
plus the blue and green lines are dealing with all of the triangles coming out of the central square, so. All right, uh, you come down here, you come down here, that'll be fine. And I suppose you can come over here, and hey look, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six consecutive circles, and then a unique and another circle before you get to a single fucking triangle. I mean, this is fine. This is fine, I'm sure this is fine. Speaking of things that are fine, uh, you do that, and you come rescue this, actually. Good lord. Good lord. All of this nonsense. Just pouring triangles into the central square. Alright, where was I going with this? I was saying, so yeah, I'm just driving down the road, and, uh, well, we'll take a locomotive and another carriage? Yeah, screw it. Another carriage for the orange line. Another carriage for the orange line, another locomotive, this one for the green line. And let's hope that winds up being fine. So I have known for a while that I needed a new set of tires, and specifically that I had a leak in my right front. And you may ask, viewer, did that stop you, Goog, from going to Cleveland and back a few weeks ago? And my answer to that is, of course not. I'm a stupid man. I'm a very stupid man. Uh, speaking of very stupid men, this uh, circle here. Yeah, you're in, uh, you're in a lot of trouble there, ain't you, buddy? Are you going to be okay? Did I just screw myself over? No, no, I did not. <clears throat> no, I did not. Good. I did just cough directly into the microphone, though. So, there's that. All right, you rescue that station, you're gonna be fine. Jeez, I really could use a, uh... All right, you come there, you go there, you do that. Okay. Don't waste your gift on the dreams of the past. All right, there you go. It's the lo-fi of the tiger. Ha-ha. <laughs> anyway. So yes. I've known for a long time that I needed new tires and that my right front was very low and I was just, you know, I'll fill it with air, it'll be fine. Oh, I'll fill it with air, it'll be fine. Turns out it was not fine, so that could have gone along a lot worse. Take a locomotive and another carriage for the orange line. Sure, why not? Good morning, Jer. I hope you are doing well. We are here in Seoul where they have decided that bridges are illegal. They are uh, bad. They're just not good. Nobody likes crossing water anymore. Uh, they used to. Like, when we set up this metro, it was, it was designed with crossing water in mind. But no, not anymore. We don't cross water here. It's a Korean bridge death, actually. That's awful. I should probably apologize for that one. On the other hand, it was funny. I don't think it'll get me canceled. Nah, fuck it. Exclamation point. Fuck it. All right. Uh, let's clear out the central square. Are you going to come here? Are you going to be okay? You're okay. Hooray. Hey, low key, I could also use another uh, another bridge or two for the blue line. The blue line is also kind of a nightmare. But uh, the orange line is the star of the nightmares here. All right. You go save that. You clear this out. All right. There we go. It's already Thursday. I, even if I get another bridge, it's not like there are triangles here in the west. This is just nightmare sauce. Alright, here's another square up here for the blue line. That's great and fine. Uh, where are you going? You, uh, why don't you come here, save this triangle. Get that going in a better direction. This blue line is entirely too long to only have the two locomotives that it does have. So... Let's pull you up to here, clear out these two stations. That'll be fine. You, Mr. Nothing But Triangles, why don't you grab all of your triangles and bring them over here. You're gonna be okay, you're gonna be okay. Triangle out here is meaningless, kind of annoying actually. We will take a locomotive and fur 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 fur. Another carriage because there's an, yeah, another carriage for the orange line, why the hell not? Uh, you come here and take a carriage. Uh, you go there and bring some circles. You gonna be happy? Maybe? Sort of? 
Good lord. We are up over a thousand passengers delivered. That's something. God, I want to chop this or I want to chop this blue line in half and I want to chop this orange line into thirds. I don't know how I would chop this line into thirds, but I want to. All right. So, blew a flat tire on the way up, and that was uh, that was a great way to start the weekend. And then I spent the rest of the weekend uh, dancing around various political questions with my stepdad, which is always a great time. It's just fantastic. Are we screwed, by the way? No, we're not. Thank you, Blue Line. All right. Uh, let's screw over the green line, shall we? Let's bring the green line up here and go diamond into a square for it. That'll be fine. This circle station was left entirely too long. Uh, you, Mr. Carriagey guy, you come up here, clear out those two. That'll be fine. This guy's just starting to catch fire, so more smoldering than anything. But, you know, speaking of smoldering, the central square is uh, kind of not keeping up with all of the shit that I'm pouring into it. I can't imagine why that would be. It's not like I'm sending four carriage, four locomotives with carriages full of uniques into a central square that has to hold all of the triangles as well because there are no triangles on the orange line for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 stations or anything. It's not like that at all. Right? Right? Oh, gods. Oh, every single one of the gods. All right, you are full of plus signs. You can come out here and hopefully save something. Although it looks like uh, eh, there, there are plus signs in there. Plus signs and a couple of pentagons. Yeah. All right, and you come into the central square and you'll actually uh, get it below the death line, which will be nice. Yeah. Now we can breathe air. We're below the death line. That's what that means, right? It's a, it's a mountain climbing thing. I, I know references to stuff. All right, how's the, how are these circles doing? Oh, the answer is poorly. Great, great, that's uh, that's wonderful for you. Uh, you come out here. Uh, what could you possibly be that would be good? A uh, circle actually would be nice to have right there. How about it? Hey, a circle, nice to have right there. Great, so we'll do that. That'll clean up the end of the orange line a lot. Won't necessarily do much for the beginning, but you know, beggars and choosers, etc. All right, you come up over here. It is Sunday, although just getting into Sunday, so we'll see how much of that good, how much good that's for, rather. Uh, why don't you come rescue this station, because it's gonna die. Uh, let's take a locomotive and two tunnels. Oh, thank fuck. Okay, so now, I can do some, is the death line just an altitude thing? Yeah, my understanding is that the death line is, is a reference to the altitude at which, if you are above that altitude, you take in less oxygen with a breath than you need to survive. Like you cannot survive above that altitude without the assistance of like oxygen bottles. That's what, that's my understanding of what the death line means. Why I used it in a mini metro context, I've already forgotten. I just kind of say things, really. It's going to get me in trouble. Like, one day it's going to get me in trouble. It probably already has. All right. So, let's do something to save these nightmares. I don't know why we want to save nightmares, but, you know. It does sound pretty metal. It's a great name for like a band or a song. Coming up next on 98.9 The Metal, it's Deathline with their new hit single, Deathline. It sounds metal, not gonna lie. All right. Uh, I, I, I'm just, again, I just say things. Okay, let's take this, all of this crap off of the orange line. I still have to leave it a triangle, probably. All right, so you, Mr. Blue Line, you're gonna come through here. You, by the way, are also dealing with a nightmare. Like, this is shitty. 
This is a horrible line for you, but uh, have fun with it. Have fun. It, it's also a good, you know, it's a good nickname for a tea station or just a line of the tea that nobody knows. Like, uh, hey, Paulie, you, uh, you know, I can't do my Boston accent today. All right, too late. I already committed. Paulie, you want to stay off of the green line today? It's a fucking death line, all right? Pack your car in uh, Quincy or something. See, I, you thought I was going to say have it yad there and go for the full stereotype, but no. I pulled a quickie. I pulled. I said Quincy. Yeah. Now me and Packy McCreary, we're gonna go make GTA 4 references. All right. Oh God. What am I doing? Oh right. I'm cutting the blue line in half. That, that's a thing a person can do. All right. Let's take this. Uh, we'll pull this circle off. Yeah, we can pull that circle off too. Uh, let's pull this triangle off while we're pulling things off. Let's. Uh Go triangle, triangle, circle, triangle for a green line. That's a good start for a green line. You know what? While we're here, let's chop that off. And we'll go circle as well. And actually, I shouldn't have done that because this circle is immediately fucked. But, you know, details. Also, I don't have a spare locomotive. <laughs> okay, two also's. One, also I didn't have a second locomotive for that green line. And two, apparently that circle station's just dead. <laughs> Even though there were trains all over it. So, you know, we just spent five minutes rearranging a network to go for 30 seconds and die. Okay. Well, hey, top 10%, even though I was almost 600 trains behind Sam the Samurai, I will take that. I suppose I can be happy with a top 10% score. Congratulations to Sam the Samurai. Congratulations to Nelson. And hey, I beat Parlor Ghost. So that's nice. That feels good. All right, let's do another level here. It, we've got time for one more. Let's go to, you know what? Because I embarrassed them so with my incredible accent. You know, born and raised in Massachusetts and I can't do a fucking Boston accent to save my goddamn life. I can't say fuck it and goddamn though. Let's go to Boston. Locomotives are gonna have well, trams, whatever whatever they call them, I think they're trams, are going to have four passengers. You only start with two. It's kind of bad. It's not great. It's not what you want. But, you know, it'll be fine. We'll start off with an orange line here. We'll burn a tunnel doing this. We'll probably get it back. Oh, good lord. Boston, hell yeah. We'll go see the Sox. Bitch about how they traded Mookie for fucking nothing. Actually, if I was playing into the full stereotype, they would love them some Verdugo. Alex Verdugo, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, Alex Verdugo might one day be almost as good as Mookie fucking bets. Oh god, now I can't stop. Sometimes it's less Boston and more, you know, old Connecticut woman, because, uh, you know, my ma, she's an old Connecticut woman, so... What are you gonna do? I'm gonna mute my mic, take a swig of me soda. I just threw in a me there, like I'm fucking Irish. <laughs> like actual Irish. Alright, uh, let's take... Another tunnel is gonna be most helpful in the long term, I think. Shutting the fuck up is gonna be most helpful in the long term, but not doing that. Oh god. I should probably stop swearing on Good Morning Mini Metro, but, you know. There's, an, there's a command for that. Oh, my eyes. Okay. <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> yes, Jer. You are the one who started this. You are the reason I use foul and profane language. Certainly not the fact that I use it all the time in my everyday life and that I literally do do these streams within 20 minutes of rolling out of bed most days. Not today, though. I woke up before my alarm today. And, you know, despite being a almost professional broadcast guy, by which I mean person who considered going to college for it and does it on a volunteer basis, you know, I can't stop myself from swearing in front of a live microphone sometimes. That's not true. I could stop myself from swearing. There is a channel point reward. If you want to spend some goog bucks and force me to do it, you can force me to stop swearing right now. Let's take a tram, and I will take... Ow nose 
Uh, I'm gonna take a line here to replace the line that I'm about to draw, which is this line. We're gonna take a red line and go triangle, circle, all the way down to here. That is absolutely a thing, Jer. 1,000 Goog Bucks. I won't say another profane word for 10 minutes. Let's take this circle off of the orange line, and I'm actually gonna draw a blue line that does all of this. And we'll pull the green line back because the green line is going to have more business to do out here. But yeah, it's in there somewhere. There are a lot of channel point rewards, actually. Yeah, you can choose an emote to unlock. You can force me to play a video shout out for your favorite Twitch channel. That's a, that's a very cool feature, by the way. The shout out with a clip thing. Yeah. Once again, twitch.guru. Good website. Slightly culturally appropriative name, but hell, he's not the only white guy who calls himself a guru, so. The problem is with society, damn it. The problem is always with society, comma, damn it. Let's take a tram and another line, because I think I'm good. I can't get from this triangle to that one without a bridge, though. Because eventually, I'm going to want to come down here, hook around up here, and not use this tunnel right here. So, I've got two spare, but the long-term plan does involve reclaiming one, which is good. All right, do I need the red line to hit this circle? Um... Probably not, but at the same time, it doesn't really hurt, and the orange line can't handle that circle all by itself, so I'm not exactly inclined to pull it back. I think we're just going to leave it for now. I might put another... Yeah, I think I'm going to put another tram on the orange line, because it's the longest line, and it does have these two consecutive circles at the end, so for right now, it needs another tram. Good morning, Parla Ghost. All right, let's take a tram and... Oh, well, I accidentally double-clicked. That means we have a carriage. That's fine. We were going to need one eventually. Ghosty is here. You missed, you've missed. you missed a lot, Parla Ghost. You missed uh, one. I damn near doubled you up in Mini Metro. So that was good uh, on today's daily challenge. Despite the horrendous lack of bridges. Sam was not kidding when he said there were no bridges in Seoul. There are no bridges in Seoul. Uh, you missed that. You missed me telling the brief story of how I got a flat tire this weekend. You know, that unique experience that happens to me and only me because I'm the main character of the universe. As one does. Uh, you also missed, and this is something you might want to go back and watch on YouTube for. Or the VOD, but you know, I, I plug the YouTube more than the VOD because, you know. I want people to watch on YouTube. Hi YouTube, I like you very much. Uh, let's see. What was I going? Oh, right. You also missed my horrendous Boston accent. Truly atrocious. I'm, yep. You also missed Jer causing me to swear constantly in my horrendous Boston accent. Let's see. We'll take a tram. And I think I'm going to take another line here. That'll be the last line. Fill up that line bar. All right. So. What do we have? I have a tram and a carriage spare. I think I'm going to put a carriage on the green line here. Because it's got these two circles and this nonsense. And you know what? Ooh. I would really like to have another line here. Actually, you know what I can do? It's a little weird, but I'm just going to have... A gray line go circle circle triangle and it's gonna terminate right here why don't we set this up as kind of a secondary I don't want to say interchange but that's basically what it's gonna be because the red line hits it the orange line hits it the gray line terminates from it or originates from it that's the word that's the word I was looking for and actually, I can have the gray line go through here, out to here, up there. Oh, that feels smart. That feels smart. So now you've got this little exchange corridor. Oh, that feels smart. 
so happy with that. Let's take a tram and a heavy rail train? Yeah, let's show off the heavy rail train. So the heavy rail trains are bigger and you know faster. They have more inertia than, than your typical tram that you've gotten so far in Boston. I think they're supposed to resemble the commuter rail here in, uh, here in New England. Basically are, you know, the closest thing we have to a, a massive, you know, lots of people travel, mass transit, that's the word. Like, we've got the, we've got the little metro system in Boston, and that's nice. I'm sure it's very good. I've never lived in Boston proper, so I haven't taken the tea that often, but I'm sure it's fine. Oh, what do we got here? This circle station right here is presenting a bit of a problem. Oh, no, I guess not. It just got itself cleared out. That's good. All right, uh, gray line, you're kind of angry. Ooh, blue line, you're kind of angry too. Uh, can you turn that way? No, not really. So how the hell are we supposed to, uh, we supposed to get, oof. Uh, you know, I think we're supposed to send the blue line off that way and accept that the red line is going to use a tunnel. Because now it gives the red line something to do. All right, let's put a heavy rail right there just to rescue this guy. And the thing with the heavy rails, they kind of operate a lot like the Shinkansen in uh, Osaka. Osaka is the line that uses the, the heavy rail. We will take a tram and I will take, give me another tunnel because I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this purple line, but it might involve a tunnel. Uh, to be honest, it's totally a good thing that I can say I haven't lived in Boston. I'm sure Boston's a city. I know for a fact that Boston is, in, is a city. Uh, and for right now, this is not always going to be the plan, but I am glad that I took that tunnel because it's the only way I can get to this square. Eventually, there will be enough bullshit that spawns down here, and probably what I'll do with the purple line is have it come down here and hook around and get back to this square. But for right now. That needed to happen. I'm sure that Boston, like every other city, has plenty of good places and a lot of bad places and is being slowly or maybe not so slowly destroyed by the horrendous excesses of capitalism, just like everybody else. All right, let's see. Can I do the thing I want to do with the... You know what? I sort of can. I'm fine with that acute angle for right now. That's okay. You did not listen to me when I told you to clear out that circle. Clear out that circle. Thank you. Eventually, something will spawn, like, here to soften that angle, or over here. It will be fine. In the meantime, let's take a carriage. Let's take a carriage. And slap it on the purple line. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Unfortunately, even if you put a carriage on a heavy rail train, it still only gets an additional four passengers, which kind of bites, but, you know, what are you going to do? Speaking of heavy rail trains, how's the gray line looking? Uh, it's gotten another pointless fucking circle. So, you know, oh, I said fucking again. All right, here we go. You are going to go up there and do that awkward looking thing, but you know, it works. Actually, hold on, hold on. Maybe I can redraw all of this so that you don't have to look quite so stupid. Okay, that'll be better. Slightly, somewhat. Uh, another tram for the gray line? Yeah, another tram for the gray line, why not? Uh, there are several good reasons why not, but I'm not listening to any of them. Can I get the orange line over to here without using the, yes I can, you know what, let's do that, and we'll send the gray line down here. And hey look, something to soften that angle. Kinda hoped it would be a circle, but what are you gonna do? All right, it is Sunday. It is Sunday night, in fact. We'll take a tram and, oh, an interchange. Yes, please. Yes, please. All right, uh, I got plus signs here piling up on the red line. So let's put the tram right there. And now there's actually a, a bit of a question. Do I want my interchange to be the square out of which, you know, the hub of my particular universe or this circle right here. Ooh. You know, either of them would probably be good. 
Let's say, though, uh, that the orange line is fucked. It's not really related to this, but it's a thing I just noticed. Also, by the way, this map, this Boston map, zooms way the hell out. Way too far the hell out. By the way. Mod maker, go back and mod this better. I don't know. All right, you go. How am I doing on time? I'm fine. It is 7.30. Boston is, in fact, a city, as Jer said, like, 10 minutes ago. All right. Uh, orange line, you're still mad at me. Uh, well, you've got this coming into the central square, and then you can clear that out. That'll be fine. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, you know what? You're going to clear out this station again. I think your broad scale going to be fine. Uh, this station is starting to pile up with plus signs, actually. Uh, basically, the red line needs more help than it's currently getting. So I'm thinking maybe tram for the red line and heavy rail for the orange next time. Of course, the blue line could also use things. Oh, good God. Good God. Hey, you know what? Let's pull the blue line off of this triangle. Now that we have the, uh, the purple line here, that'll shorten the blue line a little bit. That's a good thing. Uh, doing that is, a, oh, God, that little circle. That circle forces this angle to be low, which means that, oh, no, that's a horrendous circle. Oh, it's a horrendous circle. Okay, well, we can do that at least, and now everything's curved. But, oh, that's still a horrendous circle. All right, let's take a tram, and actually, I think a heavy rail is better than a carriage here. Yeah, we're going to take a heavy rail. What am I going to put where? That is the question. I'm not going to put anything in where. Where is a fine enough city as it is? Uh, you can't go that way. Oh, right, because you would just essentially be skipping. Yeah, you can't do that. Okay, well, uh, can you do that? No, you can't because you would just essentially be skipping. Fuck. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, then. This is just great. Uh, and the gray line is full. So perfect. Amazing. Wonderful. Okay. That being the case, let's put a heavy rail on the orange line and a tram on the red line. Every other line we will figure out. Okay, let's go while I'm figuring this out. All right, you have a whole bunch of shit that looks like triangles, so you can grab that and turn around. You are going way too fucking fast. You go there, but you're going to need to also be cleared out right here. I think with the two of you, I might get that below the death line, maybe. But you know what I can do is I can send a third gray locomotive there to definitely clear that out. Okay. And that's going to mean that everything's actually fine for a second. Just a second. But, you know, being fine for a second is sometimes all we need. We're up over 2,000 passengers again which is good. All right, uh, you can come rescue this, please. Thank you. Uh, you've got someone coming to your aid. You are totally kafucked, but you know, sometimes things just have to be totally kafucked for a second. I have an interchange that I haven't dropped. Uh, you know, this station right here has been more problematic than the central square. I might regret this, but boop. There. Save that station. All right. You go that away. All right. Uh, do, do, do. I think you've got a square and a circle, so you're just going to you're going to drop a square into this overpopulated station, which isn't great, but you know, rescued that one for a moment. So, short-term solutions to long-term problems. Oh boy. All right, uh, let's go this way. Uh, you need rescuing more than the other two. You uh, did not get the rescue that you need. That's bad. Uh, what can I do about you? Not much. Are you going to be the one that dooms me after all this? Oh, wow, you're going to be the one that dooms me after all this. I thought I could send you up to there, but no, I can't. I need to rescue that guy right now. Uh, is there anything I can do to rescue that guy 
right now? Um, not really. Uh, let's pull this, uh, let's pull this right here. Jer is committed. He's going to add to the list of Goog. Oh, no. I, I'm, I'm afraid I didn't know there was a list of Goog. I'm sure it's fine. Are you going to be saved? No, you're not. Oh, 2,213 passengers over 75 days. That's a shame. Oh, Goog's friends that did worse than him on the daily. Okay. Well, good luck, Jer. I hope you beat me. You know what? I hope you beat the crap out of my score. I hope you beat Nelson. You know, you can, you can do it. Maybe. Accidentally hit enter too early. Well, I, I'm going to accidentally hit exit. Uh, hopefully not too early. But that is, in fact, going to do it for me here on Good Morning Mini Metro. Thanks, as always, to Jer and Parlor Ghost, and also to, oh goodness, oh, I'm forgetting, Lucinos28. I apologize for forgetting your name for a second there, buddy. But thank you so much for being here, and to have a nice day as well. Thank you again, Lucinos, for hopping in. Thank you to Four Gathers for following. And if you want to go ahead and subscribe and all of that here, exclamation point plugs, I'll plug all of my shit as I'm wrapping up. Folks on YouTube, later today there will be another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. That will be fun. For, for the people who only get me on Twitch, you will see me again tomorrow morning at 7 for Good Morning Mini Motorways. But I am going to hit this stop recording button right here and, well, stop recording. So everybody on YouTube, have a great day. Bye-bye.